Hello, welcome back to Code Buds. Hello. Hey, uh, Galen, guess what I found? It's, tell me. My mouth harp. I don't... I want to believe you? What? You don't believe me? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I love a you mouth gonna, harp. You gonna use it throughout? No. No, the, the, the bit gets old quick, I've learned. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right, we're going back to a uh, place I hate, but hate less than I I used to hate it. Oh, we do have some right. more Res Chef lore. You could hand over to Zazipur, I'm pretty sure. Una, una. Or Zapper. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of names in Cud. Zapur. Zipper. Yeah, that'll be a nice chunk of XP. Might even level you up. You muse eight. Oh, okay, nope. only five thousand. That's not enough. You need like twenty thousand now. You're getting up there. I'm a big boy. Getting getting up there in their level. All right. All right. So we're right. heading heading back to head explodey historic site. You want to collect that? That blood. Isn't that red thing something I can collect? No, that's just bloody uh, cactus because you walked over it. Classic uh, me. There is um, there are harvestable cactus, um, but they have pink thorns, and I'm pretty sure uh, since I probably made you do an auto explore in every tile of the six day stilt, you probably already harvested all of them. Yeah. And that's. That's why we have so much spar uh, spine fruit, fruit, by the way. That's where that came from. All right. Uh, do we know where we found that worm? I feel like we want more worm, but uh, is that no, just a random thing that happened? It is a random thing that happens. Uh, no worm is not uh, consistent. It, it's just underground. You could we could go underground and find some if we wanted. I, I personally think the, the the easier method would be just to wait till we're inspired and then cook a new meal with law petals, because that's where it came from. All right. In fact, we could do one with law petals and hulk honey and then possibly get mental armor and strength for our uh, a better recipe. It's a good recipe. But we can you can always improve. Should probably at right, some point let's... check the chefs and the seller of vittles. I'm sorry. The uh, the people in the silt that sell ingredients, they probably have mm. some ingredients that would make a, a for some more interesting meals. Some some good um, stuff. All right, I guess. So didn't auto explore this one because you were still appeared well i i mean like the logic remains the same you you can if you want we can we can fully explore these zones i don't know i don't know how like fruitful um floor different floors of the historic site are it really depends on the site I did have a historic site, one of the most, like, interesting historic sites. Okay, you found some books, so I guess I am completely proven false. Um, one of the coolest uh, historic sites I ever found, there is just, like, giant pools of cider in the base of it. Which I just, like, um, I theorized that the historic site was, you know, that of party and uh, of, uh, what's, what's that Greek god that... What with what uh, makes them their the parties? Can't I can never remember his name. Pythagoras. No, that's the Greek yeah. god of triangles. You killed them both. Good job. Oh no. Well. Uh, okay, that's that's better. That's better. I mean, th th we're still not in a good situation, you know, uh, but like this is better than where we were. Um, before you do anything, yes, let me think. 
I honestly think you're just going to have to weather the storm on this one. Just kind of chew through what's in front of you. I think you can take a full on uh, Sender Mind. Yeah, like it's going to hurt. Oh, the a bugs lot. killed him. Oh, good. Oh, that's right. We're friends to bugs. I love this game. I forgot about that. <laughs> I hmm. keep I keep forgetting that we're friends to insects. That is fantastic. The bugs actually saved your life. This trash monk's shooting me though. Uh, no, no, he's probably shooting at the insects. Mm. And uh, you're in the way. My friends. My friends. Do not hurt my friends. They saved me. Uh, the, the trash monk. Wow, they both died. That's some Shakespearean yeah, irony right sometimes, there. Yeah, sometimes, don't they? Sorry. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. carbide stuff. Oh, and I for a cloak, that's worth something. We're actually quite encumbered. I don't know what we're carrying. That has us so uh, weighted down. Carbide. What about Shane Coif? Um, I actually don't remember what we're wearing on our head. It might be better. What are we wearing? Oh, I do. It's their snail helm with two face. Uh, the chain coif will not be as good. IMO. We got a weapon uh, rack. There's always some good stuff in a weapon. Oh. Not this time. We can uh, examine those. Okay. So we'll know what they are. Because it, it's only strange plants because we don't know what they are. Oh. Oh, that's very interesting. Huh. Let's uh, let have a look at those just for a quick sec. They're bows and rifles. So, um, <laughs> can I, uh, can I give you a brief rundown of uh, some of the, like, more granular mechanics of Cud? Go for it. Um, there's, like, no such thing as, like, um, I don't know how to put it, like, Nothing is in a vacuum in Cud. Like, when you see a seed spitter, it's not just a, a hardwired seed spitter tile that shoots at you, right? It, what it actually is is, a like, a foundation. It's a, it's a body with parts, right? They have to create, um, basically, in the same sense that you are a player with arms and hands and, uh, you know, parts that hold parts, that shoot parts, that do all those things, right? So... Um, and what that all means is that the seed spitter plants that you find are actually just like a kind of a mounted turret that use the seed spitter weapon. Um, and that's silly. The, well, it, and it's, well, it's interesting because like you as the player have a lot of abilities, right? Like for instance, you could, um, dominate. There's a mental mutation to dominate that seed spitter. So you could become them, literally become the seed spitter and then use their weapons. So there has to be some kind of like foundational logic for how that works. Um, also in your repertoire of weapons as a player is the ability to dismember uh, your enemy, like cut their arm off, cut their uh, weapons off, or even disarm them, right? So there has to be a weapon. It has to be actually using something and not just like hardwired shoot seeds at you. And this is the weapon that you can disarm from the seed spitter plant. And it counts as a long arms rifle uh, and it shoots sap. Yeah. Isn't that fun? That's wild. You can leave Do those. Do I care? No, it's just interesting. I, I, right. I've rarely seen the seed spinner like actual weapon it was actually it's one of the reasons that i was um as like enamored as i was with the salt hopper mandibles those are from the salt hopper uh insects right they've got they, they're kind of like praying mantises and so they've got these little like claws and they do quite a lot of damage in the early game uh and if you disarm them if you dismember them uh or butcher their corpse then you can pull their uh little mandibles off and that's that's what turns into a long sword i appreciate these uh, like more um i guess like kind of nuanced mechanics of cut it's what makes thing, the the game a lot more interesting to me 
Anyway, we uh, we survived a, a fairly harrowing encounter there because you were friends to insects. So I should probably stop talking about how fun it is to butcher their corpse for long blades. Yeah, I uh, definitely had you speed run to the bottom. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, I hate this historic site. Well, I mean, you're fine. The good news is that there's no um, lad that can confuse you. That's really the thing you're worried about. They are an annoying combo, for sure. They're really nasty. Beehive. <gasps> Yo, a portable beehive! We done it. We got it. You're, you're taking that, right? You can't not I take guess, the... I, I guess so. You can't not take the portable beehive. I, I mean, I'm not just having you take that for a meme. It is actually worth money. Uh, <laughs> nothing there. This has a lot of colors on it. Can I look at it? You can look at it, yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, I mean, it would make you friends with the Isakari, but other than that... And heat-resistant. Yeah. Um, you'll get armor that's heat-resistant without it not having armor. I might, I might rec- yeah. You, you got it. I don't even have to tell you anymore. You got this game. I know when I... Need a nap. <laughs> I know when I need a day nap. Do you have a historic day bed? <clears throat> Maybe. Hello. Any any novice of the sightless way? Nobody hiding around these corners. It's a very wet historic site. A box. There seems to be a lot of stuff. Oh. That's worth something. Actually, all of those are worth something. You can just take that whole box. In and do. I don't know if I... If you... Is that your first basic toolkit? Yes. Oh. That uh, allows you to um, have a higher chance of getting all the bits from disassembling. And also uh, a better chance of examining objects without breaking them. There is an advanced toolkit, which we do want eventually, but they are expensive and you usually find them in the deeper dungeons. Oh, sorry, I'm sneezing. You sneezed. I will collect this cider. One dram of cider. What, uh, what brand do you think it is? Is it like a... You think it's like... Pappy's old fashioned. <laughs> Pappy's vittle with dog thorn hair. All right, we definitely fully explored this zone. Much to my chagrin, but we did it. I'm, I keep hoping that we're going to find you some salt to to cook with. Salt is a like one of it's a special ingredient because it doesn't actually add it doesn't contribute any effects to the um, recipe, it just improves the effects. So it like buffs the recipe. And then uh, that's kind of why you want to take um, Spicer, the one that gives you three ingredients. It's almost exclusively so you can add salt to your double recipe or double ingredient combo meals. Salt makes everything taste better. That bat is probably friendly. Yeah. They're neutral. They don't care about you. They have no cares for you. Yeah, actually, if you are going to go through the zone, through the trees is not a bad way of doing it. Because uh, they won't be able to see you until you're basically on them. I don't think any of those dreadroot tubers are harvestable. I think they uh, will have, like, brown bulbs when they're harvestable. Oh, I got spooked. Yeah, that's what they do. That's the dreadroot tubers. They, uh... Alright, I think we cleared this floor. Live by their namesake, for sure. 
Yeah, this is a not exciting. Oh, a goat folk village. We will not be visiting that place. Not unless we uh, get on friendly terms with goat folk. Which I do not really. I, I've done it once before. It's not an easy thing to achieve. Am I friends with that spider? No, they're spiders. Um, they're always hostile unless you're friends with like you. You start on bad terms with arachnids, right? But they don't attack in conventional means. They actually wait for you to become stuck in some net uh, and web, and then they start attacking you. Unless you like corner them, in which case they'll start attacking you. But they don't. They're not like openly aggressive. All right. Okay. I don't. I think this was the last floor we. Oh God. Let's just head back upstairs and wait it out. You can like go one tile right and then you know if if we see uh yeah, now you can just press left and kill that lad. Perfect. You killed a uchal uchal kalka chal chapal pal mam kumal. Ukala kalchuma. That's uh <laughs> feels dead. Uh doubt it. This is What's the last thing? floor it's though. Pink. That is a Gersh. Gershling and Psychic Thrall. Um we fought one of those before they were at the base of Red Rock. Uh I don't like it. No, it's right? it's no, it's bad. It's a spider. But they're, they're not super dangerous. Not to you now, anyway. Uh, uh, uh. So we are on the final floor. There's our, uh, there's our chest. <laughs> Get down! We, I gotta, I gotta, like, probably the least Batman thing that we do is uh, use a gun. If we could get the geomagnetic disc, we would be a lot more Batman. Because there ain't nothing more Batman than using some fangled technology batarang that whips around and, and yet is uh, Batman gets to get on his high horse about guns. I'm not using a gun. I'm using a shooterang, a batter gun, a bat gun. Uh oh, oh, that's a legendary. Uh oh, uh, what what's the what's the rep? It, it almost doesn't matter, but I'm just curious. Um, yeah, we're going to be on bad terms with fungi, but that's fine. We're we're already not on great terms with fungi. Although, okay, well, it's fine. Let's we we have to do this. He's not a robot. I can't make friends with him. Um, it's true. If we had a love injector, we could, but it's, it's, we got it. We, like, if we want our business here, we got to do this. Can you charge them? Oh, yeah, you can. Wow, the charge distance is amazing. I, I really, like, I cannot overstate how good that charge distance was. That was a good call on that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the wish you were no longer. Wish you were here. Hey. Right. We've done it. You did it. You killed the legendary uh, novice of the sightless way. That could have been really tough. Oh, I'm hungry. You're hungry. Ooh, uh, it's a hat. It is a hat. It doesn't offer any armor, but it may still be worth it depending on the effects of the hat. Plus one toughness grant you light manipulation at level two. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Love a hat. Okay. 
I love the head cannon here that um well actually now that I think about it that the hat is almost literally a head cannon <laughs> it, it it literally shoots beams I think we got to wear uh, that hat I'm hungry I'm gonna eat real quick yeah who's hostile I don't know there's probably someone milling around in the trees Now, hello. Oh, Niftali. What is happening here? <laughs> hmm. Mysterious. It just kind of keeps going. Cracked lens. Okay, well, you can surely make a meal over here. Maybe not. Yeah, all right. Swimming. It's a very wet forest. It's like an underground marsh. <laughs> and we, we uh, maybe, yeah, down there, perfect. It's a good, good habit. Always preserve your fresh food because then it's just free weight. All right. Um, we're still not inspired. We mm. have tons of law petals. We can, we can make a meal with law petals. I wouldn't recommend re wasting the Hulk honey unless we're making a recipe with it. Because um, Hulk honey can do a lot of things that are not as helpful as just giving you strength. Can use intimidate. All right. Did say they were hostile. Oh, there it is. There he is, and a bear. And a bear. Our final bear, maybe. All right. Splish splash. Trying to derelish it. When a species day, Daryl should check the grass if of skulls and bones. What an edge lord. From then on, he always kept some iron goblins hidden on his person. <laughs> Does remind me of that one Oglaf comic. Or a Taffa. Corrupted the minister. Suit of armor is in, 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 appointed the corrupted minister as minister of Lyceum District Shunip. He right. mandated the practice of imposing one's will in Arfada's name. Hmm. They were a fan of domination. Oh, one more bear. bear. One more bear for the road. Oh, no. Oh, and he's got a friend. He does have a friend. I love that electrified effect. That is so nice. It's like my new favorite mm. discovery in Cud. Like, it, it's not... It wasn't a secret or anything. I just really didn't get around to making use of it. Right. You want to try that hat? Done it. Right now? I mean, if not well, now, I got when? some artifacts to look at. Also. Truth be told, you know what's really fun, actually? Is Tell me. that hat is possibly one of the greatest defenses against Novice of the Sightless Way. Probably where they hide it. Yeah. I I, I, I agree, actually. That's, that's a pretty good narrative um all right yeah go ahead armor you want me to put it on yeah it's not it's not permanent like you can always take it off but it gives you lays we're very lazy now yep there um, it is so what what uh, sets lays apart from just using a normal gun? Uh, let me explain lays actually a couple a uh, couple steps. Um, first, it, it grants light. Like you actually shed light now a little bit, um, and it comes with some charges. Like you are uh, you building up charges over time, and um, you know depending on how 
uh, level, like what level the, the laze is or light manipulation. But what sets it apart from shooting stuff is that um, light manipulation doesn't miss. Like it can't, it's basically magic missiles. Um, okay. And I, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do enough and novice of the sightless way do not have a lot of health. Um, but like leveled up enough, lays can do an absurd amount of damage. Um, and the fact that it doesn't miss and does a pretty good job to pen is, is quite, makes it quite a powerful weapon. Um, the more you use it though, eventually you, you lose, if you don't have like, depending on how many charges you have, it dictates how much light you shed. And then eventually you just don't shed any light and you're out of charges until you build up some more. But anyway, Lays, it's it's a good one. It comes with a downside, though. Um, people like to say it's it's overpowered. I disagree because its major downside is that um, it incinerates basically anything that you're fighting. So if you're fighting people with good equipment, you are going to burn up that equipment by using it. So it, it very much cuts your treasure hoard in half. We did it. We defeated Orchards of Ten Ed. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, um, we probably want to level up a, a couple more times before we go to Bethesda Susa. We can go back to Asphalt Mines. That's totally valid. Um, there is a ruin there. I think we went to Proximal Shush. Yeah. Where is... Well, we've been to... The, we... The mem the memor memor granary? We've we've been well it's it's on the very east end. You you're not seeing the whole map right now. Oh. Yeah. So there's um Memor Granary is literally right next to the, the Chanel or whatever it's called. Um Okay. The Shanner tree, I forget what it's called. Mm. Aura of Shishan. They're all in the moon stair. Those are all places we are never want to really going to want to go until like if you were level 50, maybe. Okay. Well, you got so, some. Oh, you lost. Why don't you try your uh, lays? Give it a go. There you go. I did put myself out. So you got you got five charges left. That's how that works. Yeah, honest, honestly, the gun is better. Um, you can uh, if you if you want, you can put your hel snail helmet back on. It's if we had found it early game, it would have been great because it would have been a, a fantastic um, defense against the novice of a sightless way. The fact that we got it after killing all of them is is a a bit of an i uh, you know that's some shakespearean irony right there oh well uh... but we can sell it so um i would uh, offer i was gonna say i would offer you the option we have two options of um Oh, maybe we could we could go through the salt dunes and instead of disassembling uh, Isakari rifles, we pick them up and then we give them to the Mechanimists. That's a, a not terrible way of doing things. And the salt dunes are a really easy and fun way to get some XP. I don't know if these guys actually give you any XP. They're pretty easy at this point. Yeah, no, they, they give you nothing. Um, but they do carry Isakari rifles, and those are technology. We do need to do that. So we could either hang out in the salt dunes, or we could go to, um, a ruin. Oh, there's a bunch of garbage on this. Do an, uh, auto-explore. Inkweep. Weird. But that's probably gonna um, do it for our um, 
episode here. We'll uh, follow through on all of this garbage. Uh, yeah, okay. And then, uh, and we'll end the episode. Oh, no. We're going to have to disassemble all of our junk. That's oh, probably my what's gosh. Weighing, that's probably what's weighing us down. I don't know why it's not automatically disassembling this stuff. <laughs> That's it. That's one of the reasons I, I end up just mashing disassemble instead of using disassemble all. It's in scrap. Because it keeps kicking you out of the inventory space. There you go. It, I mean, it's worth it. You're you're getting secrets as well, and those are actually more worthwhile than the bits. You're getting D's. Don't make it weird. But you're getting D bits, which are actually quite up there in value. There you go. All right. Um, that'll do it for the episode, I think. Sounds good. If you're enjoying this series with me and Galen, then uh, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, what what else? Anything? What? No. Do those things. What do you think of the new hat we got? It's such a bright hat. <laughs> Shining light in these dark times. Shining... Uh, sh um... Yeah. Follow us everywhere Shining. on twitch.tv slash K-I-L-L-U-R monkey. Fantastic. Ah. Wow. We're branding. <laughs>